Here's something to pay careful attention to when you're reading the Old Testament. Any physical description of a character, whether it's their hair, their eyes, their hands, their overall appearance, anything, because that rarely happens. So when it does happen, when we're told something about the physical appearance of an individual, it is going to work its way into the biblical narrative. Sometimes, in fact, it's prophetic of what is to come. Think, for instance, of Joseph. We don't know what his brothers look like, but we know that Joseph was a very handsome guy. Why are we told that? Because that way we understand why he was sexually desirable by Potiphar's wife. Now, in our reading for today from 1 Samuel and yesterday's reading, we have a physical description of Saul. How is he described? Well, he's handsome, but he's also tall, very tall, head and shoulders taller than any other Israelite. Why is that important? Because in the biblical narrative, no other Israelite is described that way, as tall. But you know who is repeatedly described as tall? The adversaries of Israel. In fact, one of them is going to feature in 1 Samuel's story itself. Who is very tall? Goliath. Now, I think the narrator's inclusion of Saul's height is his way of tapping us on the shoulder and saying, hey, things are not going to turn out very well for Saul. And indeed, they did not. He rebelled against God. He became a persecutor, a pursuer of David himself. And so this physical description early in the narrative is prophetic. It's the narrator's way of alerting us to what is to come.